Well, if you're going to get hit, it might as well be with a magnificent attack like that one from Rainier Van Nort. Stephen Hand from Staccata in Hobart. What I'm going to look at today is the technique that you just saw, which is uh, a technique that Giganti in 1606 called an incitata, and Fabris writing in the same year called a girata or turn. Uh, Capo Ferro writing four years later in 1610. He called it scanso della vita, which um, means an avoidance of the body. And Alfieri, writing in, in 1640, um, simply called it portara la vita, uh, which means a, a, a sort of a, a carrying or removing of the body. Um, and I'm going to show you those techniques, the plates out of those four treatises now. Now just to follow on from those plates, what I'm going to show you is a snapshot that I've taken of Rainier at precisely the moment that conforms with uh, the image you see in, in those four plates. So if we take that snapshot, um, we can see that it, it conforms very, very precisely um, to the images from the manuals and um, all kudos to Rainier for having such beautiful form. Um, but it's very much, it very much is a snapshot. Uh, and if we look at the whole sequence again, this time in slow motion, um, we can see um, that it's a very, very dynamic action. Uh, and really the, um, the image that you see in the text is just that snapshot, it's, it's just one tiny little bit out of a large, complex action. Now, I'm going to show you another technique, uh, because as well as doing a, an incitata, you can do a half incitata. And what I'm about to show you, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any illustrations from, um, but I'll read you a description from Saviolo's treatise from 1595, uh, where Saviolo writes, For at the same time that the master shall give the said mandrita, the scholar shall do nothing else but turn the point of his foot toward the body of his master, and let the middest of his left foot directly respect the heel of the right, and let him turn his body upon the right, upon the right side, but let it rest and stay upon the left. And in the same time, let him turn the rapier hand outward in the staccato or thrust, as I have as I have given you to understand before. That the point be toward the belly of his master, and let him lift up his lift up his hand, and take good heed that he come not forward in the delivering the said staccato, which is half an incitata. So what I'm going to show you now is a technique um, that I did uh, in a, a bout where I was using Saviolo's uh, system against George Silver's uh, and that I did against my son and as you'll be able to see I make a little adjustment with my front foot and then I make a larger movement um, stepping across the back of my front heel uh, with my left, my rear foot and at the moment of impact, you'll be able to see, if you look closely, that the, um, the middle of my rear foot is in line with the heel of my front foot, exactly as Saviolo said. So I'll show you that now. So there you have it, uh, the incitata, otherwise known as Gerata, Scanso della Vita, Portara della de Vita, um, and the half incitata, uh, ways in which you can get the, uh, the body by moving the, the left foot sideways, and in the case of the incitata forward, you can get the body off the line and strike your opponent. 
The Inkatada is obviously an offensive move uh, because it gains distance. The half Inkatada is a defensive move. Uh, you, you essentially have to have your opponent come to you. Thanks for watching.